Welcome to The Voyage. I'm Kimberly Bustine and today we have a very special episode for you as we follow the Princess Yachts Australia team as they prepare to hand over the brand new Princess S66 to one very happy owner. But before we do that, we thought we would take you through the delivery process from the factory, off the ship, for final finishing touches before the big day. The Princess delivery team adding their stamp before the official handover. So how do you improve on perfection? this sports yacht is truly something to behold. Where to begin? Let's start with the main saloon. The S66 has an aft galley layout that makes the kitchen central to most things happening on the boat. There's a dining table for eight guests, the helm features huge electronic screens and another standout is the captain's door. Above, the roof retracts, filling the main saloon with sunlight and plenty of ventilation. Downstairs, the VIP guest cabin is forward with its own ensuite and plenty of storage. The full beam master cabin is so stylishly appointed with a massive ensuite down the back and so much space. Four cabins and three en-suites in a 66-foot boat is quite a feat. And that's not to mention a small crew facility in the rear of the boat should you need it. The Princess design team has done an incredible job, but what really makes the S66 truly unique is two floors up. The S66 is lots of things to lots of people. But for those who can't make that call between sports cruiser and flybridge, well, here it is. It really is everything. The flybridge, while small for a boat of this size, still affords you another space to entertain with a wet bar and plenty of seating. And obviously, a comfortable helm, which affords 360 degree vision. The sun lounges on the foredeck and the pad aft above the swim platform make the most of what deck space is left. I am truly amazed by this vessel and if I'm honest, a little bit envious of its new owners who are going to take possession in just a couple of days. But Greg, before they do get the keys to this boat, you still have to add a few more signature pieces to it. We do. So we ordered this boat back in February last year. Uh, we took it off the ship in February this year. Uh, comes to the wharf, we put it on the water and all the systems are ready to go. Basically we turn the batteries on, start the engines up and then we drive it down to the Gold Coast and start preparing it for the owner. Do you enjoy that part of the process? It's great. It's beautiful to watch the boat come off the ship. Uh, we get the first run down the Gold Coast and we do a couple of system checks on the way down. But what we do then is we take it out of the water and we do all the inspections on the boat. We have to do some anti-foul work. Uh, we pull all the upholstery off the boat so it doesn't get damaged and we have our trades come on the boat and then we do all the extras that we do in Australia. So, for example, this boat, we put a bow and a stern camera on it, we put satellite television, uh, we upgraded a few items for the stereos. This boat has a sea key for gyro, so we have to commission the gyro as well. Uh, then we do a handover with a client and this boat on Sunday this week is going to go all the way to Sydney with our team. Basically what the boys will do is they'll leave here Sunday morning, they'll stop at Coffs Harbour, then Port Stephens and then into Sydney Harbour and then hand it over to the client. It's really important that we actually make sure there's no bugs in the boat. Uh, you know, we're a family business and we treat the boat as if we could own it ourselves. So we want the boat to be 100% when we hand it over to the client. So one of the things we'll do is we'll run the engines up to what happened throttle, make sure we're getting full revs and full speed. Uh, we'll check the gyro stabiliser to make sure that's commissioned properly. Then what we'll do is we'll check all the plumbing so we make sure all the sinks work and the toilets flush and uh, the sea cops will work and basically just make sure that everything is all wrapped up and ready to go to the client. Greg, this is a really sexy boat. What makes it so unique? So the S66 is a flybridge boat and it's a sports yacht. Yeah. So one thing on this boat, it still has a sunroof in the saloon. It still has a tender garage like a sport yacht, but it's a flybridge boat. Yeah. So on a normal flybridge boat, your tender would be on a hydraulic platform and you wouldn't have a sunroof. So it's best of both worlds. Joining us on board for today's sea trial is Scott Davis from Princess with a few tips for new owners on the startup and shutdown protocols. So we've just arrived on the boat. You can see we've got shore power on the boat currently. The first thing we need to do is start our generator up and select generator power. So that means that we've then got, we've changed over from shore power to generator power so we'll operate all the ship systems whilst we're out on the water. Second thing engine batteries on and then whatever equipment you want turned on for instance navigation equipment 
your refrigeration, your water pump. So once we've started using the boat, all the equipment's gonna work. So there's a lot to consume on the switchboard. You're gonna forget some of the bits and pieces that go on. One of the real simple ways that we keep our owners, keep it real simple, is we often put a green or a silver dot on the item that when you get off the boat should be left on. For instance, the battery charger, when the shore power's on, should always be left on. So basically when you get off the boat, those little dots just remind you to leave that item on as you, as you exit the boat. So in some situations, you might have a yellow and a green dot on the item. For instance, the battery charger and the refrigeration on the 240 volt panel would stay on when you're using the boat and also when you're not using the boat, you obviously want the fridges to stay cold and you want the battery charger on to manage your house power. So in summary, the dot system is a good way to remind yourself that when you're on the boat, the green is on and when you're using the boat, the yellow is on. Also, if someone else gets on the boat, they know that those buttons have got to be switched on when you're using the boat. So it's just a good little summary system, quick, re quick reference to make sure you get it right. This is something you don't see on a lot of boats. This is the way Princess do their circuit breaker panels. Nice and easy access under the dash if ever you have to check any circuit breakers. The new owners are keen on a gyro to inhibit roll in any kind of conditions. And the Princess Yachts Australia team have been working with the Seakeeper company for a couple of years now. Gyros are a terrific new piece of tech that provide brilliant stabilisation when travelling or at anchor, as Glenn Freddingham from Seakeeper explains. You know, this is a product that's really taken the market by storm. Twindisk in Australia took on the distributorship for Seakeeper. Back in those days, it hadn't globalised, and we were fortunate to get involved at the very ground floor, and it's rapidly becoming the new norm. Greg uh, was one of the very early adopters of the technology. He saw the benefits in it, took the very first of our new generation, Seakeeper. Since then, he's been a very big advocate of it, and we've had a very strong relationship. Princess have done a great thing by designing in foundations for Seakeepers, and that makes it easy to either choose it at factory level or tick a box and have it added through construction. A lot of times people think, oh, okay, is it really working? And then they turn it off and uh, they panic, turn that thing back on. Jan and Mike on a boat here, they've got a Seakeeper 6. Uh, they've even nicknamed it Jerry the Gyro. It's part of the family on that boat. After installing this lifesaver for so many who feel the effects of motion sickness, today we are heading out through the seaway and into a beam on sea to ensure everything is working correctly in the sea trial before handover. And with everything working sweetly, we return to port for a final deep clean and polish, the last chapter in the handover book. It's enormously satisfying for dealer principal Greg to be delivering the first S66 into Australia. Greg, I'm no expert, but today went without a hitch. Oh, 100%. You know, the guys have done a fantastic job. Andy, our service manager, managed the whole process. Scott was involved with um, doing some of the handover work with the clients. Uh, Shane, our new service guy, did a lot of the work, took all the upholstery off the boat and put it all back on and made sure it was 100%. And some of our trades, like we've got um, Damien that did all the electronic installation, all the satellite TVs and the cameras. Um, then we have Tommy, who's our shipwright, that just made sure all the timber work was 100%. Now, our detailers um, did a fantastic job. They put a product on this boat called Julon, which is just last and makes the boat glow. So everyone joined together and did a fantastic job. So what can we expect in the next few months and years to come, build-wise? Oh, we've got another boat arriving next week, so that's a sister ship to this, which is a V65. You know, we've got an F55 and a V55 arriving for boat show, uh, an F62, we've got a 78-foot yacht coming as well. Uh, and we've got you know, quite a few customer boats and a little bit of stock. Most of the stock we pre-ordered, we've actually sold already, but we do have rolling stock coming over the next 24 months. Yeah. Well, the only word I have for you is wow. Handover is nearly here and I bet these new owners are so excited they can barely sleep tonight and it is easy to see why. The S66 is truly an exceptional offering. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. If you want to find out more about this S66 or any of the amazing vessels in the Princess Yachts Australia fleet, please get in touch with Greg and his team at Sanctuary Cove. That's all from us. Bye for now. We'll see you next time on The Voyage.